Oh hi John, here we are as promised. This is how to remove the back of your laptop and replace the memory. Um, so first of all we need to remove the battery. There's two clips, one on the right, one on the left. As soon as you press the two together you'll be able to release it holding the one back. So remove the battery, turn the machine over and just press the power button. Nothing will happen obviously. That's just to discharge the board. Turn it back over. Now on the back you'll see four screws and you can see it's outlined here. This is the plate that's going to come off. So there's four screws. There's one here, one here, one here, one here. You can take them off in any order. I've got a crosshead Phillips screwdriver. Just check the size. I think it's a two mil. But just check as you don't want to thread the screws. You have to push down slightly on the screw head to get the torque but they come off pretty easily there's four of these screws I always do things like this on a, on a light surface so I can see the screws where they are or use a plastic tub okay that's it there's four screws just come out and all you need to do is pull it towards you slightly, he says. <laughs> That's it, it'll just clip. So just press down, palm across the back and push it outwards in the opposite direction of the battery and it'll just lift off. So there you go. There you have the inside of the machine. Now there's not too much to do. I'll just give you a quick overview. There's the memory, there's the cooler, the cooling unit for the processor, this is the hard drive and that's the wireless card. So to remove the memory all you need to do, there's two clips here, one, two, and they're set into the little cutout of the board of the RAM. So you see this there and one there. All you need to do is use your finger push the one outwards and use the screwdriver to push the other one outwards and they'll lift up like that. They go in at a 45 degree angle and that's the angle that they actually stand up after you've released the clips. So you just literally just pull it out and that's it. You put the new memory module back in. So let's just imagine I've done that. Obviously you'll have to do it again for this one as well. So again insert it you'll see you can't go wrong you match the pin up with the missing pin there insert it at a 45 degree angle so all of the contacts are no longer visible I'll just show you that again so you see all of the gold contacts put it in as a 45 degree angle matching the little cutout Push it all the way in till all the contacts are no longer visible. And all you do then is you press down on the center of the card until it clips back in. That's it. The ramp is now inserted. Put the back plate back on. Dead easy to do. It just sits slightly offset and then you can push it back into place. And you'll see that all the holes are lined up again. Put the screws back in. One, two, three, four. Tighten it back up. Just a biting point. You don't need to give it much pressure. So it's a bit of a feel thing. But just so you feel that that's tight enough, 
bearing in mind that it will expand with heat so it's always good just to give a little bit of slack on the screw to allow it to expand with the heat also if you've got a magnetic screwdriver I find that much easier to work with when you're filling around with tiny screws and the last one fourth one again not applying too much pressure just tight enough battery it goes in with this connector first towards you at an angle and clips back in like that turn the machine over and power on you don't necessarily need to connect the mains either now as this system configuration hasn't changed it won't prompt me to press any keys or anything but it could be when you upgrade the memory it will pop up on the screen saying oh the memory's been changed up to 8, 8 gig Please press F1 to continue, that's fine, just press F1 and away you go. And hi presto, the machine has now booted up. Log into your machine just to check that the map the memory's been uh, recognised. And the way to do that is on the desktop, click on the start button, right click on my computer, that's a right click, so the computer, right click, go to properties, and there you'll see installed memory RAM 8 gig, 7.9 gig usable. That's just to confirm that the memory you've installed is actually now active. So I'll just show you that again with a close up that Laura has kindly assisted with. Start button, computer, right click, properties and then look installed memory RAM 8 gig so you'll know that it's upgraded the memory and there's no problem and that's it you're good to go thanks for watching see you next time